One, two, one, two. Check me out right now. City twos again or the rip cities, y'all. KCP, my boy Carwell Pope. We'll be hearing from David Aldridge. And for the Pistons, we've got another hometown game here in Detroit. Well, they are on top of their game right now. And guys on top of the league, the best record in both conferences. Checking out Detroit, they must have been. And nothing. Well, guys, Luke Walton played 10 He definitely did, David. He won titles when he played for the Lakers. Now he'll try to bring that winning mindset back to L.A. And every veteran goes through a period, Chris, where they are benched for rest, especially this late in the season. Did you ever go through that? Is it something that's easy to accept? Looking back, I would not have mind being benched for rest. Uh, it wasn't that popular uh, when I played. Uh, you had to even go hard in practices. Uh, right. I think now teams understand how to handle that, and I think the schedule change may make it so that a lot of players won't have to have rest during the season. But you want to be in a position where you're not fighting for a playoff spot. If you're fighting for a playoff spot for a position, then rest is the last thing on your mind. If you always used to say, Rocking them Rip City fours again, yo. So you have to balance your rest with expectations. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. Taking a look at the Lakers. Caldwell Pope is the two with Ingram playing small forward. Handle out there with the hits of Zubox. And it's Falk in at the point. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Good on the triple. Oh, KCP is he? himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Now, here's DJ. Ah, really damn. German one getting up there. In that last game. Here's Randall. And he lays it straight in. Oh, yeah, on the over. There from Caldwell Pope, looking to get his guys going when they're open. That's all you do. DJ dishes to Lewis. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And setting the tone early with a strong move to the rack. Well, you'd like to see a little more physical nature on defense. You have to make them earn those points at the strike. Ingram picks for Randall. Over in the corner, Caldwell Pope. And the three of Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Ah, oh, nice damn. Right and there's always the turnovers on me, right? He chose the ball. Lakers have gone two or three here to start off the game. No, I wasn't talking to you. It was, um, um, uh, Joe. Caldwell Pope kicks to Zubox. Ball. One up, one down. Two points right, with this first shot this game. Sure. I have a fan of how Ball uses that size inside. Excellent. Yeah, get your ass down, nigga. To the to the right I don't side. know if it was an angle breaker, but get your ass down. Here's Caldwell Pope. Oh, 
Oh, you probably flop now, dude. Every night, he's averaging Here in the first quarter, with about two minutes gone by. Stolen by Lure. Here's Foster. The rebound. I'm always missing them jumpers right away. I already got. I already picked up some some of the shirts that they gave everybody today. This is his first chance of the yeah, it, it, it wasn't no Eagles and then like the ones I remember was like a polo shirt um, A LeBron James type of Space Jam shirt I think and then um, you know All them shirts where they be putting the ugly ass backpack logos on there. I hate it And I, th and I think uh, what you call it too. What's that brand called? Uh, it's that it's that thing with the red and blue on there. I forget what it's called Yeah Damn, I can't do nothing. Oh, for two right now, that's big. I got a German to do it, my God. He's wiry. They played him a little at point last year. His rookie season wasn't dominant, but that doesn't mean anything. I really like his game. Uh, but but I, I really like Alonzo Ball. I think he brings that talent and leadership. Uh, I think he has the talent to become that franchise player. Forget what I think. Magic thinks that. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And you have to have an appreciation for Ball's passing skills. I mean, he just sees the floor beautifully, easily working the ball over to open teammates. Of course, I would have to appear on my screen. You don't go on my phone. And the more you watch DJ, the, the more you have to consider him for rookie of the year. It would be an unconventional pick. I haven't had an update for car thing on my screen since 17, but it's crazy. He's set the pick. Ball kicks to Ingram. Oh, shit, I forgot. Not foul this early. And stolen by DJ. And here we go. That's great. DJ's got it. And Lewis. Papa John. Oh. Goes back up. And Harris puts it in. Well, they ain't broke. Don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and continue to score consistently. Feeds it to Randall. Pass the ball. Dishes it to Ingram. They need this. Yes. Like that, like that flashy pass I did. Established that flow offensively. Really never got any resistance from the D. And I feel like the defense was one step behind all night. I mean, they never made the adjustments to string together a few stops. Ball dishes to Randall. Over Lure. Damn, John can't guard Randall for shit, bro. Jump shot, the mid-range area is where he likes to take. 
And Julius Randle, like a lot of these Lakers, still has... German, I got you, big fella. Don't worry, I got you. Chris, what's the key for him at that end? Oh, shit, what was that? That is the Allen, right? Just great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and then trigger the fast break. John, but you open up. Uh, I got you didn't take that. Now, here's DJ. Defense right on. Now take it. Lure. Oh my god, you suck, bruh. You do suck now. He ain't used to be, he ain't good like he was earlier. Get a drumming. Get. That was, a, that was a long long right there. I mean, it wasn't long, but it was high. Great way to see the alley-oop at replay, courtesy of Under Armour. Another Unleashed Chaos moment. So, timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Come into this one following the loss to the Grizzlies. And I think they can hold their heads high from that performance, you know, despite the final score being what it was. <laughs> Alright, we have about four. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Smith is out there with Foster. Then there's Avery Grant. Then it's John Moore. Uh, and it's Harris in a power four. So I'm facing, uh, I'm facing the LA right, right now. now. The Lakers. Here's Foster. Man, can my dude not dunk in this game yet? Shit. Randall's got three yeah. on so far in the game. On the sideline. What did y'all lose to them? Well, DJ in the last matchup. Yeah, I do too. I mean, I don't hate him as a player, but I just hate him on the game, bro. I just hate him on the game because LeVar be talking that shit when, if he lose to the Lakers. When you look at the stat sheet, he wasn't Yes, he did and won. That same level of production. All right, David, thank you, guys. Could you believe that performance? Wow. I mean, it was really something to see. Yeah, he showed everybody just how special he is when he is on his head. Once he got them on the ropes, he never let them off the hook. He was full speed energy basketball. It was crazy. Man, I'm not supposed to be getting on shit. I'm going to guard too many people out here. Oh! <laughs> oh man, I thought Tobias was gonna pop that. Damn. Yes. I was going to try to go for love and finish it, but Ish was already up there. He, too, he, he way too fast. Feels great. You get to play with Chu. You know, play with Joe and everybody. You have to remember how young he is. He turned 19 until three months before the draft. And he's still real fit. So he's got a chance to improve very quickly over the next few seasons as his body. Thank God. Damn, by the time I dug up somebody, bitch ass. Ingram probably did. Right, let me get that rebound. Hasn't been his best this quarter. Now, DJ. I know that shit. Let me get these points. I ain't passing it to John right now. He's pissing me off. You know, he had an open shot too, like I do. Watch to get Durango and Doug. Over Harris. 
Well, Simmons could have fallen. And that's now six points for Julius Randle. Oh, great presence inside the paint area. This is where Randle's most effective. There's a screen. Foster against Caldwell Pope. And Foster kicks to Harris. Stolen by Shit. Caldwell Pope. Last break, the Lakers from about 19 feet. He gets it in there. Caldwell Pope's got 10 points in the game. Oh, and the long arms of Caldwell Pope are so dangerous on defense. He's so good at making his man feel uncomfortable, which in turn earns him a ton of speed. Sit your ass down. DJ has a double contest written all over, and this vertical is just downright nasty. You see that I'll get fouled and go to the free throw line? I'm dunking on people. I don't care. Nice ball moving here by the Lakers. He gets it from atop the key. Now it's intermission. So a tough quarter for him offensively. He hasn't been able to give this team a little. Probably Avery. Yes. Got my physicist. That's where he's most comfortable. Bradley crafting his game to excel in the catch and shoot. Los Angeles has gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Mm -hmm. We're getting one of five attempts. Zubac, Zubac to Randall. An easy layup after coming off the pit. He's got eight. And they repeatedly broke inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Told y'all ass, bro. I'm ducking on people. I'm getting fouled. It's either one of them. He's locked in. He's very hard to slow down. Lakers trail by ten. I'm tired of them Lakers always talking shit to my team, man. Yeah, Detroit win the building. Now, here's my point. Another nice set. I can see this. Here's my point. Yes, it could be fair. Los Angeles will retain. John, how the fuck you got to bounce with a damn ball? Damn retard. Look at that. I'm, a, I'm almost averaging a double double season. Y'all just got to average more assists. He's proven again and again that he's the cream of the crop. He's in the top spot right now, and the hardware could be his. And there's no more deserving candidate. Any other outcome than him lifting that. Get that shit out here, Alonzo. I'd be shocked. Yeah, at this point, he's separated himself. I don't know what more he could have done this year. One amazing performance after another. Hey Tyler, I did you a favor, bro. Tyler, I did you a favor, bro. I blocked uh, Alonzo, bitches. I said it. No, I said I, I blocked Alonzo. I said this shit, Peggy. Hit by Randall. Hey, bro, consumer, that dude is a baller, bro. He just. I, he don't, I don't think he should be on the Lakers, though. Six. Shit, that's good. I'm winning on my own time, and you, and you losing on your own time. <laughs> okay, I'm seven for eleven. I ain't doing too bad. Okay, man, I gotta get drums for points. I got seventeen, two, six, two, one, and two turnovers. Quick move to the ten, and an even quicker reaction by the dude stop. So it's DJ hey, I ain't playing a good game though against the Lakers. Those 51 to 42 is going into halftime. And it's showing no signs of fatigue. And now we'll send it. Kevin, thank you. Hey, you have done a really good job finding other guys and creating for yourself. What are you seeing out there that allows you to do that? You know, a lot of it is just is seeing yes. what's available when we come down the floor and just, you know, making a decision from there. You know, I want to be able to punish them if they give me too much space, but uh, you know, as soon as they start focusing on me, then I can get the ball to an open man, and, and the team has done a great job of, of uh, finishing the play so far, yeah. Trust is so big in this league. Thank you. Back to you, Kevin. Yeah. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. I'm ranked number two in the NBA for field goal percentage. That's good.
Let's give him a now the third quarter have to get going. So look at DJ in this one. And he's been everywhere. Yeah, the kind of leadership he provides, points. the big point oh, passing. We saw it all <laughs> there on display in that first half. Well, as a finisher, you're expected to play in that kind of environment because you know you can get the ball at any time. Starting off the second half, here's Lou Bolton's five. The lengthy pair of KCP and Ingram on the wing. Please, Papa John, please, thank you. Shit. Hey, Chris, when you play, what did you always appreciate from your front court mates? Wow, your defense, uh, someone that could help defensively, someone that could help on the boards, and I was really lucky to play with some great passers. Juwan Howard, when I was with uh, him in uh, Washington, probably the best passing big man I played with, and then Rodney D. Oh, Brooke Lopez. Oh, wait. Brooke Lopez name ain't playing. I just noticed it. He kicks it to Randall. Passes it to Zubats. Over Drummond. It's Drummond with the rebound. Drummond's got his third rebound tonight. The baseline check. Hits the rim on the way. Hey, I'm, I'm cool with it, bro. As long as... Tobias makes and I get my assist. Even when you are right in Harris's face, he feels it. He's rising up to the chain. You can do so much against this guy sometimes. One of the few bright spots in this game for them today. He's kept his edge even though they've been trapped. And Julius Randle, that seventh pick back in the 14 draft out of Kentucky, was a five star recruit out of high school and, and was able to help get the wild. Oh, I'm going crazy over here. So this is the guy who is used to the spotlight. There you go, Drummond. I got you your 10 points to your 10 piece. Team first guy plays well with an offense. And the replay presented by Under Armour. I just got to get my 10 decision. I'm straight. to enjoy that alley-oop all over again. Ingram with it. Respect that by Drummond. And well, Bo, this is the ball. Oh yeah. For those you don't know, I also got my brother here, the one and only gamer boss. Just to let you know. Just, you know, subscribe to his channel as well. Matter of fact, if you want to, just go ahead and uh, tell him how to spell uh, your name on there. Joe, did you hear me? I swear, if Lonzo would have made it. There we go. I got my two decisions now. But yeah, pro but yeah um, once I upload this video in a couple hours, I'll put it in the description for y'all. What are you on, Fortnite? Uh, oh, yeah, I got you, man. Don't worry. So the wing on the left. Ennis passes to Kuzma. Kicks it to Clarkson. There's the screen. Six to shoot. Pass to Kuzma. No good from outside. And with Drummond, he does play like uh, towering centers of decades past. Yeah, I mean, he isn't great at moving the ball around or hitting shots from range, but his size... All right, I just need one more basket. I got my 21 one piece. Of the best rebounders in our game. There's a screen on Harris. They no, Clarkson, what you going to do, homie? Come on, get that out here. Look at it. I ain't playing with the Lakers. I'm, I'm, I'm real serious about this win, bro. I got lucky off of uh, winning by three points last time I played y'all in L.A. Hey, 
He trying to play with us? I'm the wing dang. He was guarded by Johnson. Yeah, hey, that's what I'm saying. Dang passes to Kuzma's Oh yeah, I'm down. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't talk about my boy like that just because he's on my team I'm in my season, but um, in real life, you can say that because he's with the Clippers now. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Damn. Hey, Tyler, you want to tell you my favorite thing about sports? When you, when you know you're about to score and you just show about your opponent, like you just look at them, like thinking that they gonna catch up to you, but they don't. I did a stare down <laughs> dunk on this dude, bro. It was funny as hell. <laughs> and I hung on the rim on his oh ass. Nope. Going to the fourth quarter, y'all. <laughs> hey, what's the score right now? You said 58 to 56. You said it's 58 to 56. Uh, man, come on, bring Lonzo out. I want to guard his ass. I swear, I don't want to hear LeVar say no shit to me if we beat the Lakers. Now, here's DJ. He's covered closely. Johnson in the corner. Now, here's DJ to the inside. Oh, y'all lost? But I, I've always laughed and I've thought about the players that made people say maybe they were a bust. Maybe yeah, my bust. team took a dub I think you should go on, your, on your game, GM but not mine no, yet. Not really. The GM is the guy that assesses talent, you know. So uh, when, uh, there were a few players that were picked number one in many places. What do you do? Man, that's... We would never pick him. I ain't make so it. Before that, I think the NBA is about opportunity and situation. Look at a guy like Chauncey Billups. He went to Boston. He didn't do well at Boston. Ah, I was trying to pass it, but I wasn't paying attention. Play, and then he ends up being one of the best leaders uh, that the game has. So this game is all about situation and opportunity. Can you find the right fit? That's why if you're a player, you can't let frustration get to you. You have to continue to work hard, continue to prove your game. Because oh, yeah, I forget. Where y'all playing that? Anyway, Cleveland or Detroit? Well, they said, wait a minute. We see his unique talent skills. Oh, okay. We see his unique skill set. Oh, yeah, Alonzo. I just realized I'm guarding you, baby. And, and you had to guard me, too. And I missed that poster. I'm mad about that, too. That's not no foul. That's a clean block. Well, you really like seeing Caldwell Pope earn these calls on the shot. I mean, it, it, it makes him that much more difficult. The first free throw is good. And you, you really got to be in all of That's the way that Contagious Caldwell Pope plays defense. So disciplined in this era of three point shooting to kind of stay home on fakes and, and playing great position defense. He just sticks to his man like, look. Oh, yeah. Oh, they never. Man, they never make me uh, make that layup, bro. That acrobatic layup. 
shit. I remember I, the last time I made one like that, I was playing park with you, remember? Remember that layup I did at park when I spun around? That was, that was, a, that was, that's like one of the best layups ever on this game. And here comes Harris, leading the fast break. Shoots over Ingram. That's good for Harris on the assist by Foster. And that's now 11 points for Tobias Harris. I don't care, bro. I want to blow out the Lakers, bro. I'm mad. Time out called the Lakers. Now called Will Poe, but it's not like he's playing defense on just anyone. He usually draws the opposing team's top score. That was his nightly assignment. Yeah, he's earned that responsibility. Because of his play, mm. I mean, typically plays at two minutes and, and never slows down during the game. At least they, at least my fans. team put up a fight, though. Detroit making a switch. At least check in. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact out the shot. Chris, traditionally, we've had the standard one through five spots in an NBA team, and it seems more and more GMs and coaches are going away from labeling a player to one of those spots, like positionless basketball. Are we going to see more of that? Is it going to work its way around to another level? How do you do that? Well, I just think that the game is evolving, and I think right now you have to have I feel like I'll, I'm going to put up like maybe three more sizzles out and then get my 30 points. You've never seen baseball. They say, ah, oh, it's okay. You don't have to have a center fielder. You can just put two left fielders in there. You still have to identify a position and put a tradition in the honor of the game. I say we I'm not even trying to pass it, Jim. I'll try to pass it to Jim. Pretty great guy. So what would you call Dirk? Yeah, give me the ball, baby. He's 17 feet tall. Is he a four? Is he a three? It doesn't matter. He just has game. What do you call Kevin Durant? A seven-foot flamethrower? I mean, he's a center or power forward. I don't know what you call him, but I know that size or positions are no more defined by height. They used to be defined by height. Seven foot and up centers, six nine and up power forwards. Now you have six nine and up three point guards. He's open. Oh my god, bro. This players are just gonna play because you're gonna have every single size because they're not skill set as well. 13 feet away, and Caldwell Pope gets the basket. Caldwell Pope's got four points this quarter. Uh, I love the form that Caldwell Pope has when he's open in the big range. He feels comfortable rising up from it. The dish to Foster. Oh, <laughs> man, I hate it, but I can never pop my jumpers right there, bro. Hey, Tyler. I'm having a good ass day today. I'm beating the Lakers right now. I blocked Lonzo no, earlier and I broke his ass. I'm having the worst day ever and I'm starting off this damn fucking game, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was I nasty. Hate it now, bro. Come on, man. It is clean. You knock those down. Well, I like the decision making, though. I mean, that's a shot you want like, to keep you know, saying. Bundle of screen on Bradley. Tommy, you just pulled a just there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> what did he do to you? <laughs> oh yeah, that's easy. Come on, German. Man, that's my foot turnover because you wouldn't want to run to the paint or to the rim. And they're gonna call foul on me, bro. I knew it. Hell no. Ross got an ugly ass free throw animation, bro. Slingshot shooting form for Lonzo Ball. Greg brings it up on the left side of his face. Yeah, but he still got great balance, and the lower body mechanics are perfect. Good wrist action on the follow through. Sometimes we get caught up so much in the motion to get to the shot. It's about the release point. And when you get there with this guy. Please make it to bias. Please. I think it's a oh. one made three form for the game. We had a better shot and angle than John did. He always misses threes half the time. And here's the Lakers. 
Damn, we haven't scored in like three minutes, bro. No, I, I think about two or three or four, maybe. Damn. And with Caldwell Pope, a player who worked on his outside shot and got it to a point, Chris, where he is a threat now on the perimeter. Has that signature well, plant and drip type of jump shot, do. but it works for him. Oh, oh yeah, I mean, well, all Contavious needed was a little bit of time. I mean, it just yeah, takes yeah. a little time to get better in this league. KCP went from being average to deadly in the span of the Damn. DJ with it. Thank God I made it. And only a handful of teams have a coach of creativity like that. With the Pistons and the Lakers playing up to the board, the Memphis is running it out. Oh, yeah, not many teams or, or franchises have an identity. That's, that's what makes it so special to play in Detroit for that reason. There's nothing like hearing the crowd get hyped for a defensive stop. All these one hand shots, I can't even get to <laughs> he be getting mad so easily, yeah. Right wing. Here's Ball. Lots of go from the baseline. He nails it. And Ball proving to be a knockdown threat from mid range as well. A terrific shooter in that area. Drummond, get. Oh, damn. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Get your ass out of the way, Julius Randle. No, it's never really easy trying to contain DJ. You see how he goes right at the D, bouncing off the contact and maintaining his body control. Now, ball. Dishes to Randle. Over lure. No good off the front eye. Low percentage look on that one. Not sure what he was thinking. Sometimes what? a little outside of this. Let's get 100 points real quick, man. I'm trying to destroy these Lakers. First, compiling the lead and now building up. Oh, man. This is great in the game. It's tough for a team to come back. Everything has to fall in the court. And here is DJ. There you go, Drummond. Ooh. 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 I don't talk about my boy German, bro. That's my nigga. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Throw it. Bradley, shit. Outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance. And it's really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Pistons. Oh, my God, German. What was that? It's part of the page of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the player. They're just on target. Oh, okay. Oh, Ale Alexis, or Alexis, he got up there. Reverse that mode too. Display as they try to put this one on ice. Well, they've got this too. Oh, hell, man. Oh, I felt. God damn. History doesn't want it. 
Yeah, yeah, Paul George is listing them on his short list. Show that they still have that pull, but the Lakers will be big players in free agency, I believe, in the near future. <laughs> And Chris, if you're a Pistons fan, you have to be happy with the direction this team is in. A good, youthful player, brand new arena, the things are looking up. Oh, yeah. Three championships in the history of two of those were back-to-back -back and yeah. another final. But if you look back at the Pistons history, just like most organizations, it's full of valleys and peaks. And it just went through a valley for the past seven years. Or so. Shit. We'll see. Let's see, I'm 15 for 23. Well, beat the Lakers, 101 to 80. Got my revenge on Lonzo, bitch That's what I'm saying, bro. I was mad about that. Remember I was telling you about the, about the barbershop on there? They don't got the jerseys no more. Oh, here you go. Here you go. They popped up. Oh, oh, that's a bitch. Hey, that was a great game. Oh, hey, we need to go do an interview with the guys in the studio. All right. Let's get it, man. Let's get it, bro. Hey, this is Shaq. And just like I called, you went for another double double. How are you able to get this offense into flow so easily? Man, this uh, game, German and today. Tobias was doing everything, so I'm going to go with the top one. Diesel, when you have the talent that I do, man, it's natural to just want to get back to the rest of the team. I mean, that's why I'm such a great teammate. You know, I always make sure that I don't hold the spotlight, day, even though I could score more. If hold I on, bro. Hold on. You know, I watch it every day. I'm a really good Especially if you're black. Hashtag humble. I'm going to follow me on hashtag check. My head. my head is itching like a motherfucker. Okay, here I am trying to hear my interview. You over here talking about hair washing and shit, bro. What the hell? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm just, you know, a lot of kids need to know that because a lot of kids don't wash their hair. Auto, y'all. This might be LeVar text me. Ah, oh, that's Brian. No way, bro. the game. Yeah. I kept Lonzo from putting up. Any numbers, he only put six points, three rebounds, and four assists, and two steals. And then I got, I put up 34, 5, 13, 3, 2. Yeah. Hope y'all guys enjoyed the footage that I'm gonna upload to y'all. I'm gonna have another game coming up soon. But to me, it's peace.